uh, start a, uh, sorry, let's, let's delete this. So we're going to, um, so we're going to, uh, do a my GM, uh, we're going to use a current team. So I basically, I wanted to, I, I did this choice before, but first off, let's set up options. I'm not going to be playing any games, but no, no fantasy draft injuries on. This is going to try to be kind of realistic. And we and we decided on the magic, I believe. So, because magic are uh, they're bad. They don't have they don't really have much of a future, <laughs> I think. Um, and they have no championships, so we'll. Uh, I'll do that. Steve Klein, welcome to the team. Let's talk about what I expect you to accomplish. I'll settle with road losses while we rebuild, but I want to see at least 18 home wins. Uh, I'll just try to accomplish. If you really understood the state the team is currently in, then you'd know that you're just asking for too much. If we can't put a consistent winner on the floor, it's important that we win enough games at home to keep the fans coming. Don't lose sight of that or your job may be at risk. Oh, that's a bug, right? Because uh, this is the, this is what this guy should be uh, saying. Wait, that's my line. Um, <laughs> the dialogue in this game is so funny. My wish list. Trading for a first round draft pick. It'll be hard to accomplish. <clears throat> Keep te team chemistry. Forty two. Let's do might accomplish. It's not impossible. And GM must have trust in his players. I don't want to hear any broken promises. No, I I hate the the promises thing is so stupid. Like in this game, because basically what happens is if you um, like if you tell a player you're not going to trade for someone, but then you do trade for like someone at that position, then they get super mad, and that's a broken promise. So I'm going to basically have to not uh make any promises to the players. Happy players, um, hard to accomplish, but we're so bad. I can like the the other big thing is everybody always complains about uh the about the playing time. Okay, this is a this is a budget. We got questions. All right, let's review the goals. So, uh, eighteen home games. Uh. First round, first round draft pick. Um, chemistry, don't break promises. Happy team. Yeah, because we're gonna be so bad, we're gonna be able to. Uh, Eight million a year for Frank Vogel. Are you are you kidding me? Yeah, we might fire him. Who who's a do we have are there any coaches that do I wait am I able to fire him? Dave Blatt. Um Elijah Nelson. This guy uh was on my last team. I I fired him as well. I I, I got so mad at him. I always like these salaries they are so funny. The coach makes so much more than like this guy. Like this guy probably went to like Harvard and got a business degree and he's making like a fraction of what the head coach is making. Um, but yeah. What now? Yeah, I'm ready to get started. All right. So we'll auto generate the rookies as usual. So let's uh, let's start with the the business. So getting an exceptional value. Okay, let's uh, increase this to twelve. Oh, they're still getting exceptional value. So the price is fair. Exceptional value. I actually don't know how to make a profit with like this stuff, but I don't like exceptional value. I like uh, I want I want I want 
I want these uh I want these guys to uh I want fans to feel it's fair so that we can kind of maximize the profits. I don't have very many budget changes though. Five oh five for it, okay. Customizing concessions. Well we need to make money. Also, these tickets are 40 it needs to be a round number. Okay, so this interview, uh, it's a business, yeah, whatever. Owner, trust, public opinion, yeah, whatever. Okay. You will farm me, f I will farm me for ad revenue, yeah. Oh, does that not, uh, does that not work? Okay. Um, front office. So, sorry, player contracts. So what's my player contract situation? Bismack Biombo. We extended him. I'm, I'm stuck with him for this many years. J Jay Green, Jeff Green. Uh, okay. Jeff Green's an expiring. He also sucks. All right. I don't know. We're, we're supposed to lose, I guess. And then Serge Ibaka is an expiring. We have minus $8 million in cap room. Um, okay. And then the overalls. Yeah, we're going to build around... I guess we have to build around what why do we have why do we have two centers that we're paying money to why, why would you do this like why why would you do this and uh, this team man why would why would they do this Can I play this guy up? Can I play Bismack? He's 6'9. I should be able to play him at the four, right? I can trade Surge. Or I can try to trade Surge. Okay, what's my what's my uh draft pick situation? So I have I have a first and a second. Okay. Um Uh, all right. It's not great. I'm. I need to. I need to start stacking draft picks. I assume. Um. Coach's game plan. Let's put a. Let's do like a twelve man rotation because we're we're gonna be bad. Might as well get every, give everybody minutes and then they'll hopefully be less unhappy. All right. So we have a trade. Idea CJ Miles Aaron Brooks for Vucevic. Nope, definitely not. Okay, All right strategy set for the Miami Heat. I am not going to change that. All right, so I reached. Oh wow, I have a. Oh, I already have levels. All my levels carried over. That's funny. I want to consistently improve. I want to temper the expectations so we won the first game against the heat that's surprising oh we have aaron gordon he's a who's a rookie i kind of want to have him start right or This is so stupid. Why did why did we why do we have two centers? Like there's no reason for this. Like two centers that are like the most expensive guys on my team. All right, Alfred Payton. What is this guy? What is Aaron? What is uh two any two K seventeen Aaron Gordon good at? Um where is it? This one. Minimize profit. Yeah, he's got a lot of potential. Otherwise, he's kind of just pretty mid. Uh, yeah, 
I feel like we want to 18 and not 18 and 10. This is like decent, pretty decent numbers. Um, he can't play any defense, right? Oh, he can. He can play deep. His post defense is okay. All right, we're gonna do that. I think this guy's post defense is really good. This guy's defense is good. I don't know. I guess we're gonna. I guess we're gonna stick with this for now. Um, oh, let me. Uh, let me check my settings. So um, I have team mornings on. I guess the scouting. Uh, we need to. We need to do some scouting. I'm going to I'm going to have them auto scout for me. I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to uh scout myself. Um and for this, we're going to we're running a 12 man, but I think first scoring option is definitely going to be uh Vucevic. Otherwise, I don't think it matters. Alfred Payton. How much did he average last year? 10, Evan Fournier, Jeff Green. Wait, Serge Ibaka scored 16? Okay. Let's uh let's make our let's make Evan Fournier and then Serge Ibaka. Uh offensive focus. I don't know what our I don't know what is great. Am I playing games? No, I'm not going to play games. I'm just going to simulate them. All right, all right, sure, Vogel. We'll we'll let you uh we'll let you uh do this. Oh, great. Uh, okay. Serge Ibaka is out. That's cool. So this is going to let uh Aaron Gordon uh Aaron Go or. Jeff Green. Okay, yes. Yeah, Aaron Gordon is gonna is gonna uh, take off here. Um, have our rookie, our rookie do that. All right. What is this? Usovich. Oh, right. And the only other thing I always want to do is I want to um, make. A, I want to increase the training intensity. All right, so what is this trade? Lou Williams, Jose Calderon for Evan Fournier. Nope, we're not doing that. Jody Meeks. Playing like the coach. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm, well, I'm trying to GM the team, right? I just wanna, I wanna construct a good roster um i want to set and i also want to set myself up for the future like i've seen all these other videos and what they do is they trade all their draft picks uh to get all the best players and then they win a championship and then they uh then their team is not set up for the future so i want to do both because i want to uh, rebuild this into a team that wins a lot of championships um if i can i don't know actually how good i am uh and we might need to simulate a few more, like a bunch more games. I want to have a good sense of, um, I want to have a good sense of like, uh, I'm, I'm sick of, uh, this let's, uh, should we add an untouchable? I don't want to trade Vucevic yet. Yeah, I don't want to, sorry, and I don't want to trade uh, Evan Fournier yet. Because, like, we have a winning record, so, okay, that was bad. I, I, I'm, I, I really don't have a good feel of, like, what my team is, or, like, how good it is. Um... 
I do not want to extend Serge Ibaka, I don't think. Why am, I still can't believe we ex we have this $17 million a year for my backup center. Like, I don't want to start him because he, like, isn't very good. Like, why would we have signed him? This is so stupid. And we... Oh, my God. That's just a really weird contract to, to have done. All right, well, we'll... we'll yeah, we're going to... Do a couple more things. The other thing is, yeah, you need to. So we have to extend his contract. Um, how much is his contract, and how much is he gonna want? His contract is fifteen million. Uh, yeah, there is no way we're extend. His contract is fifteen million, and he sucks. There is no way we're extending him. Uh, so we gotta, we have to, we need to coddle him. I think. So that his morale doesn't decrease by too much. Um, how do you max out your player? Are you talking about in this game, or are you talking about, or talking about my my career? I don't know. I I don't really. Or are you talking about like? If you're talking about my career, I mean you. They they like have a cap, but there is like a glitch. I think where you can actually. You you only have like a fixed number of things that you can spend your points on, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, you just in my career you kind of just train a lot, right? We have a rivals, the Pacers. Okay, let's uh, let's. Oh, we wa we lost. Okay. Oh, they still have Paul George, and Paul George is good. All right, what are the standings right now? So whose draft picks um, are going to be valuable? And whose draft picks can I trade for? Because we're, we're not doing so hot. Um, I want to see if I can... Uh, I can sort of try to dump some of my players. Yeah, Bismack, I don't think we're going to do it, but let's see. Uh, do I have another small? Oh, I don't have another small forward? Oh, man. So whatever I trade, I need to get a small forward for it. For it. Jody Meeks, uh, he sucks, right? Actually, he's like shooting really well. But yeah, he's not he's not very good. Um CJ Watson. Why why do we have a team option for him? Alright, so let's look for uh CJ Watson. But what can I get for him? I need a I need another small forward. Sorry, let's do CJ Watson and uh Jeff Green. Um he's an expiring. Can we get any draft picks actually? Can we take on another contract and get a draft pick? I don't really like these. Um But yeah, I want to. I want to dump uh, Jeff Green's contract for someone good. Thirty-eight, twenty, and eleven. Nice. That's a. That's pretty solid. How does trading in this game work? Like, why the salaries don't have to match? Okay. Um. Okay. Let's do the scouting. So there are teams that are buying right so what you want to do is look at the teams that are buying see what they need see if we can provide them what they need and then they give us draft picks uh that's so i think that's like the 
I think that's like uh that's like the the thing. So Pelicans, yeah, they have Anthony Davis. Uh So Pelicans are buying, Thunder are buying. Oh yeah. Yeah, the Thunder could really use a Jeff Green. We can bring Jeff Green back to the Thunder. Um Their draft picks are going to be useless though. Um So yeah, the draft picks are going to be useless. So I might want to trade for um, future draft picks for them. I guess. Um, Evan Turner. <laughs> Their five Warriors are five and five. That's hilarious. That is so funny. Um, The Sixers want to acquire Stephen Curry. Yeah, that's happening. Oh man. The Bucks want to acquire Brandon Jennings. Why? Like he left you got you guys you and him parted ways for a reason. Okay, Bulls are buying and they're bad, so. All right, let's uh so for Bulls, let's uh let's try to get oh they have a top 3 protected Lakers pick. Can I get that? <laughs> uh Sorry, okay, let's uh let's do the trade. Let's use let's trade finder it. Um so what is it? The Bulls. Uh I should have probably gone back. So Wait, I thought it was the Bulls. They had a Lakers pick. Wait, 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 wait. What am I? What am I? What did I miss? Oh no, it's the 76ers that do, I guess. Sorry, okay. The 76ers have a Lakers pick, and, and we're not getting that. Um, the Bulls have. Okay, what do they. So Cavs are buying, but Cavs are going to be good. Ooh, the Celtics say, oh, they say they're contending, uh, but they're two and seven. Yeah, but we're not going to be able to get a player from them, and there's, there isn't really anything that we want, I guess. Let's go. Should we go for that? Let's... uh. Not satisfied. Uh, I'm gonna always do no comment if I can. It's me, yeah. All right, this is uh, yes, yeah, getting bad. We're gonna need to get some trades. Uh, All right, who are my assets that I don't want? So there's definitely Jeff Green uh, is on the trading block. Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon is a valuable, pe a valuable guy to trade, but he's also our future. Um, who is who do we hate more between the two? Aaron Gordon is ten and seven in twelve in uh in what twenty five minutes? That's not bad. Yeah, I would rather trade this guy. So we have we're we're offering a very young piece, and I want to try to get some draft picks out of it or Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton, I don't hate the idea. Derek Rose, ah, oh, no way. Harrison Barnes, definitely not.
Yeah, I, I don't hate the idea of Chris Middleton, but um, we do need a we do need a shooting we do need a small forward because we're trading where only small forward. Can this guy play small forward? I mean, I guess he can. He's tall. Um, this is it just me? This is like a like a this is like a steal, right? We're just trading away this shooting guard that's really young. Oh, that's why, yeah. So, because I have no faith in, that this guy's gonna get better, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we want this trade. I think we, I think we should actually try to invest in our future, um, and try to get some draft picks. So let's uh. Yeah, we need we need draft picks. Um dump players for picks. This rebuilding. Yeah, these guys are gonna want draft picks. Pelicans, yeah, we're gonna try to take yeah, I guess let's let's uh Yeah, Pelicans are a good candidate for um getting a draft pick from um Uh, let's so let's look at the Pelicans. Try to get their an unprotected first rounder. Uh, they want Aaron Gordon. Uh, that is not happening. I'm sorry. Trade for Zion. Yeah. Okay. Well. So 17, 2017 first round pick. What about what about a twenty eighteen first round pick? Um they want our twenty seventeen first round pick. Well that's not happening. They want, oh, man. Okay. Couldn't see Pontexter. Is he good? Uh, yeah, let's just. So this is 2018 first round pick. Yeah, let's. Uh... Yeah, I guess we'll try. I guess we'll. I mean. I mean, this should be fine. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stack. I'm gonna just try to stack picks. Um, and try to dump Jeff Green. So now I have uh, another small forward who is much cheaper, but he is, uh, he is very old. So, but yeah, I wanna, so now I can try to dump, dump Jeff Green. Uh, for something, what can I what can I dump him for? Uh, Jeremy Grant, Nick Strauss. Matthew Dellavedova. What are we What are we missing uh, in terms of our positions? So we're three deep at everything except small forward. Um, we have a lot, like, and we have we're very deep in se uh, at center, uh, power forward. I guess we could use a power forward. Um, but yeah, we're gonna want to trade Jeff Green for a, for like, like I didn't hate that trade that I saw, um, where we trade Jeff Green for like, um, this was not the trade that they had before, so. DeAndre Embry, Tiago Splitter. Yeah, this is uh I mean Josh McRoberts is bad, and I don't know who who Derek Williams is. Yeah, but I guess he's also bad. Um 
but we are we, we are dumping his dumping his salary, uh, which is good. Dumping his contract, and they want a second round pick. I've always find I find that second round picks are terrible. Like I don't understand why second round picks are useful at all. Um, the players that you get for that are always bad. Like if you ever find yourself drafting a second rounder, uh, it means you failed. So, but maybe that's just me. Um, Nick Young is a small forward. Uh, let's see here. This guy, this guy is probably terrible, right? Yeah, he's terrible. No way. Can I get like some young players who are like underappreciated? I guess it's no. I don't want Tiago Splitter. Yeah, I think that this is the. I think this is probably the best that we have. All right, well, we'll do that then. Yeah, why did why does this keep happening? Amateur hour. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, we're gonna confirm this nicely. I, I like I don't want to make a promise that I'm not gonna trade for anyone at his position because we're gonna be trading a lot. So. <laughs> Um, particularly for draft picks. Uh, so what is this trade? DJ Augustine. What is whatever? We're gonna we're gonna go if, we're gonna go a few more games. Um. So Bismack Biabo. Yeah, this is what happens when you This is what happens when you have two centers. So like this is so stupid. Um I'm gonna have to play them together. Uh, I'm gonna have to I'm sorry, Aaron Gordon. You're 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 a future, but uh we we for whatever reason we signed two centers to to large contracts and it makes no sense but we did that so uh we're, we're we're gonna have to we're gonna have to play them both together it doesn't matter if that's a good idea because we're just gonna lose um we're gonna continue losing well i guess we win here but is this is 15 and 9. i need to choose one of these centers and i need to trade one I want to get uh, one of their some of their draft stock up. All right, I added I added Vucevic as an untouchable. I added him as an untouchable. Nobody's untouchable here. All right. Der oh, Derek Williams. I was like, do we have Darren Williams still exists? Okay. Um, all right, let's check out our player stats so far. So we have uh, Ibaka's injured, so his stats don't matter. We have so Nikola Vucevic is putting up 15 and 9, which is okay, I guess. Um, Evan Fournier, yeah, we're not we're not gonna get anywhere with this, but uh, Aaron Gordon is um, is good. Why? <sighs> It's so confusing to me that we have this guy on our team at all. Like, can I get rid of him? Because he, he's 17 million for three years. Like, there's, there's no reason for him to exist on our team. It's so stupid. Um, I don't want to... I want anything but a center, right? Yeah, Zimmerman. Yeah, you're going to. Yeah, Zimmerman is going to be um, center of the future. I do not want a center. Danny Green. Power forward. 
All right, who? I still don't understand our roster completely. So uh, we have a lot of shooting guards. So I would want to trade okay, CJ Wilcox. We have too many people on our team. Like I want to have, I need roster spots. But yeah, we have to trade Bismack. He's uh not happy, and I think we he's also expensive. So we're gonna try to trade our most um expensive player. He's also young, so that's that's some upside for him. Oh, uh, we're gonna see if we can save money. Uh, trade him for a small forward that saves a little bit, but this guy's old. Why why would you why are people paying these old guys so much money? Um so it's 13. Wow, that's two centers. Louis Scola. Anthony Bennett. <laughs> I could take Anthony Bennett on my team and try to make him a superstar. <laughs> That that would be uh that would be hilarious. Uh Devin Harris. Wait, how many one, two? Oh, we have fourteen players. How do we have fourteen players? I thought we have fifteen. Yeah, I don't understand how some of these trades are gonna work. Um, but yeah, we're, 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 we need to trade this guy. Who do we trade him for though? Which, which offer do we, uh, finesse with? Le Bissier. So Joaquin Noah, no. All right, we need to we need to add another player to this, uh, and the other player that we were going to add was C.J. Wilcox. Uh, so we get us Jeremy Grant, Strauss. I actually don't hate this trade. It it like really offloads a lot of salary. I don't. I, I, are these trades like allowed? Like, why are these trades allowed with? Why are these trades allowed? Yeah, we're 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 definitely gonna do this. I need to. I need to save some money. All right. Um. Have coach handle. Okay. Yeah. Now we have. Um. Yeah. Now we have. Uh, a roster that makes a little bit more sense. Um. Except Surge is coming off the bench, which is unfortunate, but you know, we have a okay, now he's not. But we have our uh power forward of the future in Aaron Gordon. Oh, who's gonna be good. And then yeah, now we just have um we have a bench. I don't think we have a good team, but now we, we don't have to worry but now we're cheaper, so that's that's really what matters. Right. Oh wait, go to team status. Discourage that we haven't given him a contract extension. Why would we give him a contract extension? What have you done that makes you deserve a contract extension? And how much money are you making? He's making six million a year. How much does he want? No, we're not we're not extending you. Let's uh Let's uh, call you. We're rebuilding. We don't, we're not ex like, I don't know. Jody Meeks, he's like, he's old. There's no reason to extend him. Oh man, we are bad. So. And we still don't have draft picks, uh, but we do have some young players. 
Serge Ibaka. Uh, yeah, we're not extending you. Oh man, we are bad. We got so much worse with all these trades. Um, are we able to get more draft picks? Uh, CJ Watson. I don't think I can trade Jeremy Grant, but Derek Williams. Okay, we're, I guess we're going to have to go to the, the deadline. Which I, I always hate these questions. Like what, what, uh, what do we, like what's, what's department needs most work? Like none of them. I don't, I don't want to, uh, we'll just say coaching staff because um, I don't care. I'm probably going to fire my coach at some point. So it doesn't really matter if, um, doesn't really matter. All right. Um, yeah, I don't like we we have a first round pick. We need more picks. Um, we we have twenty nineteen. Yeah. How do we how do we get more? How do we finesse some more picks? Okay, Sacramento Kings are buying. Uh, we can get some picks from them. Boston Celtics, are they still buying? And are they still bad? Yeah, they're still bad. Oh, they're rebuilding now? Okay, they, they've given up. The Pelicans are buying. They're going to be bad. So, who do we dump on them for their draft picks? I don't know. Mavericks. Yeah, Pelicans are a good choice. Um, I don't. I don't really want a Spurs draft pick. Wizards are apparently good. Oh, and Bulls. So Bulls and Pelicans. Oh, the Cavaliers are not doing so well. All right, let's uh let's go to the so let's look at the Pelicans. Uh their first round pick. I want an unprotected. Yeah, I guess they're not I guess they're not getting um I guess they're not interested. I guess they think their pick, I guess the pick is valuable. Um, F and Fournier. Ooh. For Solomon Hill. Evan Fournier is good for us, though, isn't he? But yeah, I don't think we can do that. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to get another pick. Uh, sorry, what was the um, what was the actual promise? Trading for our first one draft pick. All right, so that's the Bulls. So that was the Pelicans, right? And then we want the Bulls. We have a top 10 protected. Yeah, I don't want a King's top 10 protected pick. <laughs> um, Nikola Vucevic, Taj Gibson. Should I trade my other like star center? Do I want to build around him or do I want to just get rid of him and amass more picks? Like totally tank my team. Aaron Gordon, no. Aaron Gordon is uh 
Yeah, so Jody Meeks and a Magic top three protected. How bad are you? Pretty bad. Uh, and you, how bad are you? Yeah, sure. Yeah, welcome to the team. <laughs> Let's see here. And now we're we're just we're just bad. Let's see Pondexter. Yeah, sure. Go handle it. How much money am I losing? Forty one million dollars. Okay. I I don't even know. Well, uh, so let's simulate like another week or something. So I have Fournier, Inus Counter. Yeah, we're not we're not trade. We, we don't want another center. Aaron Gordon wants to improve his organizational role. Don't sugarcoat things. Okay, so with Aaron Gordon, it's good to know that he uh he needs we need to be direct with him. Um let's actually, yeah, let's shorten our rotation. Um, we have Taj Gibson. Whatever. We're very deep at power forward, I guess. Oh, training intensity. Yes, yeah, screw you. I don't. I'm not going to talk to you. Uh, yeah, we're not going to game plan for the Rockets. Yeah, I don't care about... Not a chance. We're not trading him yet. We, we, we need a... Uh... Jeremy Grant's injured. He's... Good. All right. What's what's wrong with your organizational role? I I really don't get it. Zone usage frequency. What? Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. We we'll start you. Be behind. Uh, Todd Gibson's complaining. Sure. All right. Um, not satisfied. I'm pretty satisfied. Let's just say that. Uh, okay. This is the trade deadline, right? So let's uh. Okay, Jeremy Grant, we have to coddle him. It's okay to play badly against uh, against your former team. Dude. Yeah, we, we're pretty bad. Stauskas. Oh, God. Okay. All right, so we're 25 and 33. We've actually, like, improved a bit too much. Uh, we're probably not going to get a good... Uh, we're probably not going to get a good draft pick, but how 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 valuable is this Bulls pick? Um, so sixteenth. Um, yeah, we have eighth and sixteenth right now, uh, which is. We'll see if we'll see if it turns into something. Um, can I? So this is the last day of to trade things. Can I finesse a pick out of somebody? Um, prospect scouting. Let's see. Oh, sorry. I I also should uh, I also should actually check to see how good these rookies are. 
77, 79. Oh, they're old though. Okay, 20, this is 71, 19, 73, okay. So we're, we're on track to get like something like this. Hmm. All right, front office. We need to we need to trade for something. So what's our current situation? So CJ Watson. Uh well, I guess do we need a shooting guard or what what do we have an extra we have an extra power forward we don't need. Um let's uh let's trade surge. Uh, I couldn't trade him before because he was injured. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, going to be a big salary dump. Can I? No, I, I need to get a draft pick. Probably for next year, not this year. Uh, so let's scout who... Selling, rebuilding... Selling. Oh, can we, can we take, can we trade for Anthony Davis? That'd be funny. All right, who's selling? So these guys are selling, but they have, I guess they have Robin Lopez. We don't need a center. Uh, selling. Who's buying? Yeah, I don't want these guys. Okay, so the Hawks are buying. Ah, uh, no. Let's look, let's look for teams that are selling. Actually, let's uh let's see if we can snag anything from them for if we can like if we can like say finesse Anthony Davis. <laughs> that would be so funny. Um. If we did that, like, can I straight up trade like Anthony Davis for uh, Vucevic and a pick? Um. Okay. Paul George. Paul George is a uh, is an idea. We can get him. Can we? So so who do we need on our roster? So, Quincy Pondexter, we have Evan Fournier. This is our, yes, he is our shooting guard of the future. Uh, we have, we're a bit too deep at point guard. Hey, Cal, thanks for the have fun. We have too many power forwards, so let's uh, see if we can offload one of our power forwards our power forward contracts and um you know try to offload our power forward contracts and try to get like i wonder if i can do that like if i can flip some people for paul george <laughs> that would be pretty funny um like derek will derek williams and Todd Gibson, who how can I can I get something for Paul George? So is this the Pacers? No offers. Uh I refuse to accept that. Wait, sorry, it said they were selling, right? Oh no, they're rebuilding. Okay. Yeah, these guys are useless. Selling. Kings are selling. Demarcus Cousins. No, I, I, I have faith in my, uh, in my core, or my center of the future. Although maybe I could. Well, I, no, I don't want Demarcus Cousins. Oh, they're selling Kemba. They're selling Kemba. I could. Can I get Kemba? 
or Enbatum to pair with my uh, Scarlet Hornets or Trade Finder. Can I get Kemba? Ooh, I can trade him for Serge Ibaka and my first round pick. Uh, which first round pick is this? Because my first round pick is valuable. Um, or should I just keep tanking? Yeah, my first round pick is very valuable, I guess. So we could do that. We could try to just build, we can just try to trade away the our first round picks for this year and try to get some players. And then like I, what I liked is that it helps me also dump a bad contract. I guess Serge Ibaka is actually not bad, but no, I want to trade Serge well, I can and get something for him. Um, okay, in which case I probably need to see if I can trade Surge for like two first rounders. So let's uh, let's try that. So let's look for a buying team who needs a power forward. Thunder need a power forward. We can we can bring Surge back to the uh, to the to their oh they have kevin garnett yeah these guys could really use um use surge i think tempting wizards are buying so Oh, these guys are still buying. Why? Why are they still buying? They're, they suck. We already like they don't have any first round picks that we can use because they're uh. So I want the. I'm gonna probably do the thunder. I'm going to probably try to get one of the Thunder's first round picks. Um, so let's see if we can get an unprotected first rounder from them. Oh, CJ Watson or Kyle Singler. Josh McRoberts. Okay, sure. Let's uh let's do that. Now, what what can we what else can we do? So, right now we have three first rounders. Um this thunder one's kind of crappy, so I'm going to So, maybe I can try to flip my first and second rounder for some kind of first rounder. Or for like a for like a decent player. Okay, top three protected. This is the Spurs. Um I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. Let's see. Um, do I even have the roster space for this? I guess I do. Yeah, there are no real. Yeah, I'm not getting I'm not getting a first rounder for it. So I have my magic pick. What about the Bulls pick? Um can I trade that for 
So this is lottery protected. So this gives us a future first round pick from the Bulls. I'm giving the Bulls pick back to them. Avery Bradley, huh? We have our shooting guard of the future though. Yeah, maybe I'm not gonna be able to get a pick right now. Um, so DJ Augustine, uh, he's gonna be bad. CJ Watson, I would, I think, I have a team option on him, so I'm gonna not take that. I have a team option on this guy too. Ugh, this is this is tough. Um. I think we just continue tanking, right? I don't think we can get rid. I don't think we, we can get rid of Ibaka, or we, I don't, I'm not sure if we should. Actually, no. Let's get rid of Ibaka. I get like any young players for him. Lily Hernan Gomez, Kyle Quinn. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we're just going to continue tanking. Yeah, I don't think there's, I don't think there are any more trades to make. I think it's just, uh, I think it's just, um, it's just continue. Just continue sucking. Training intensity being too low. Yeah, we're we're tanking, right? So we just uh, we just give everybody playing time. I think we fucked up all our contract extensions, right? We no one no one wants to extend with us. Oh, Serge Ibaka will resign. Do we want to resign him? I don't think so. We have our power forward of the future. So yeah, I don't think we're going to resign him. Practices are too easy. I don't care if you think practices are too easy. Just enjoy it. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're not gonna do any extensions. Yeah, injured. That's good. As I on the hot seat. It's hard enough. To, uh, do nothing. Todd Gibson is growing frustrated. What's his contract? I think, do we have him for longer? Yeah, he's expiring. I don't care here. We're, we're, we're rebuilding. Like, we don't really care. We have Nikola Vucevic, and we have uh, Aaron Gordon, and we have um, whoever the shooting guard was, uh, Evan Fournier. And that's our future core. Um, and that's good. That's that core is going to take us uh, to the promised land in the future. All right, let's uh, actually. Um, let's have Evan Gordon be our uh, third option. All right, I have coach handle, sure. Um, the other thing is, so Aaron Gordon, he's getting minutes. Let's uh, shorten the rotation to 11. Now we'll do 10. Aaron Gordon suffered an injury, okay. I think the coach can handle that. 
Josh Gibson is injured. It's super nice when like the players that are like mad get injured. Kevin Durant had 51. Okay. Uh yeah, what a what a disaster of a season, but there there is some promise. Um we have uh we have our um we I think we have our future set. We have a we have a lot of guys expiring. We have a few draft picks, um, which are getting less valuable by the day because we actually win a little too much. But uh, which department needs the most work? I don't know. Training staff. Who even knows? Yes, but I'm not going to change any game plans. Let's simulate to the end. All right, uh, let's have coach handle. Injury, sure. Improving, what's the point? There's literally four days left. We're not extending you. We're not gonna re-sign you. Like, why, why are you, why are you like this? All right. Um, Players reach potential 6% faster. So Russell Westbrook wins MVP. Uh, 25, 8, and 4. Three steals, half a block. That is a pretty good stat line. Ben Simmons, Rookie of the Year. Uh, how, uh, just to, to, to realize that he had so much potential. Brandon Knight, Sixth Man of the Year. LeBron James, Defensive Player of the Year. That's uh, That's weird. <laughs> And D'Angelo Russell most improved. Trailblazers won. This executive of the year is Thunder, sure. Um Yeah, this uh all NBA team. None no no one none of us are gonna are all NBA caliber, so we'll uh we're gonna just uh simulate the whole playoffs. Warriors win. And yeah, that's that's the end of the first season. So overall, uh, to summarize, this year we went uh, thirty-five and forty-seven, not very good. Eleventh place in the conference. Uh, we don't. There's not not a lot going for us. Uh, we just have to hope we get a good draft pick. We're not the worst team in basketball, which uh, does not help us get a good draft pick. Um, as far as the the draft prospects, uh, they were pretty good, as far as I can tell. There, it goes down to it's B minus for the first nine, so that's uh, that's uh, pretty good. Um, so we might be able to get a good draft pick. Uh, it looks like it'll be a small forward, most likely. Um, and we we'll want to pair that with our uh, young players, so. We have traded away. Uh, we traded away uh, some weird contracts that we had, where people were getting old, and now uh, we have we still have some bad contracts. We'll have to choose a couple of team options that we uh, that we extend. Um, we'll probably have to do something about some of these older players, uh, but I think we're in a position where if we maybe we can draft a small forward. Maybe he'll be good. I, who who even knows? Um, but yeah, otherwise we have our core, which is going to be Evan Fournier, Vucevic, and Aaron Gordon. Um, and then yeah, we'll we'll see we'll see from there how uh, how things how things progress. So that's uh that's gonna be the end of year one.